So for example, guys, let me show you what my wife's Grand Cherokee has as a gauging. And this is the same thing is gonna be in a Ram, if not even better. Like, look at this. And I go here. Pull out all the useful gauging, like coolant temp, oil temp, oil pressure, trans tap, battery. Then you can go over here. Look at this. A look at that information. Why is the GMC does not have any of this? Look at this. One setting, you got a coolant temp, trans temp, oil temp, oil pressure, battery, voltage. Then you got all kinds of information. All kinds of information guys you got all kinds of applications over here you can store favorite song in your radios I, you, you can do anything imaginable you even got an ambient lighting in here I mean Chrysler Chrysler products right now they are so good they have so many little gadgets and options that GM it's so far behind it's 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 to me it's ridiculous even to talking about I cannot believe it when I got the GMC and uh, looking at the radios the cluster I was like what the hell is going on here this is so blunt so boring there is nothing in there look at this you got a sport mode automatic snow sand and mud you got all kinds of stuff look at this sport mode Auto, snow, sand and mud. Why does my my off-road 84 does not have any of this stuff? Has nothing, doesn't even have a sport mode. It's very, very annoying, very annoying. That truck cost $77,000 and has nothing in it. All right, guys, so yeah, the Chevy and the GMC, infotainment system and the gauging totally suck they don't even realize how badly they suck they just made this to look nice but there is nothing in it everything is so blunt and empty you can do anything with these things nothing nothing compared to the ram trucks ram trucks offer so much in the infotainment and into the gauging this truck is not even nowhere near it's not even close in the same ballpark so let, let me start with this with this cluster here it looks nice right there's nothing in it guys you got idiot bar over here doesn't show you anything this is okay this is another idiot bar over here for the uh for the battery and then you got another idiot bar for the uh, oil I don't know what is the temperature is the oil pressure whatever the hell is it and you can scroll down so you got a speed over here this is your trip info timer I don't know why why is that for so important to have this tire pressure okay this is useful fuel economy Okay, driver distance, oil life, okay, brake pad life, okay, like I need to know that, air filter life, okay, trailer brake, off-road pages, okay, this might be useful, engine hours 
transmission fluid in Fahrenheit. And that's it. That's all you get in this uh, GMC truck. So if you go in a Ram truck, you can pull so much information on here. It's not even funny, guys. So, okay, where is my... Uh, where is my oil pressure in PSI? It's not there. Where is the oil temperature? When you tow a heavy trailer, you want to see what your oil temperature is. Let's say you're going uphill, you're pushing your truck a little harder. You see the oil's rising a little bit high in temperature. And, and you want to back down a little bit. You can pull that gauging over here. It doesn't even give you a coolant temperature in number nothing this is so empty guys if you look at it in a truck uh, ramp trucks you got all kinds of good useful information on this cluster you can pull out here in the newer ramps you can even pull out a bunch of gauges over here and shows you the bar and also shows you in a real numbers what your uh what your temperature reading it what your oil psi reading it everything this thing has absolutely nothing in it even this radio it looks nice has nothing in it i don't even have a speed adjusting value last week me and my wife took the truck out to the mall and i was keep on going back and forth with the volume every time i stop i have to lower it down start driving you can hear the radio i gotta turn it up i was like okay probably is not turned on when I go home I'll do a research and I turn it on right come home search 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 I can't find it anywhere I was like I can't be that stupid no this should be easy to find probably is not there so three doors down my neighbor lives there and he's in charge actually he's in charge of this infotainment so I send him a text message he works for GM I'm like hey what's going on with this he didn't even know he started looking he couldn't find it neither so he contacted GM and ask about it and the answer was i can i can put the text message that, that i got back from him the answer was the radio is limited on an app they don't even put on there keep in mind seventy-seven thousand dollar truck i don't even have that cars in the late 90s from gm had that function this truck does not have also you can change the the background background colors on this why it's a computer it's nearly a computer it should have all kinds of gadgets of functions in there for the people to have fun with it when they pay this much money for these trucks you know you can do anything with this you can pull out gauges with it you can change the background you can store the favorite favorite songs on it it's not an option I mean, this is totally empty it just looks nice function has zero function it's very 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 disappointing gm are so far behind ramps it's not even close only thing i can give it for this truck guys it looks impressive on the outside this truck looks awesome it's nice and tall and square like a very nice looking truck 6.2 liter v8 very nice engine Although they have a problem with the lifters, hopefully I'm not gonna have that problem with this truck. I'm trying to do everything I can to prevent that. But uh, everything else on the interior, I mean, it, it looks nice. Uh, nothing in the radio. It's totally out of option. It's so annoying. And you can do nothing with this stupid cluster here. Looks nice, no useful information whatsoever. If you go in a Ram truck, if you're a GM owner and if you go and get familiar with the Ram truck, the gauging, the infotainment, the build quality of the interior, I'm telling you, you will never go back to drive a GM truck ever again. And the more and more I was digging into this and this, the more disappointed I got and I stopped looking into it because three days ago, I was messing around with it. I got so disappointed that I started looking for a Ram Rebel online to replace this truck. I was that much disappointed. The quality over here, it looks nice on the inside. 
everything is hollow and squeaky and hard plastics in here it's horrible shame on gm they charging seventy seven thousand dollar for this truck and the build quality in here it doesn't pick up the amount of money they charge you for these trucks this is ridiculous like i said guys if you are a long-term gm owner and if you're watching this video you probably beast right about now but i'm telling you if you go and sit down in the ram truck and start going through that radio see what they offering in there and they start going through the gauging over here what kind of configuration you can get out of the ram trucks what kind of gauges you can pull out you can watch everything there is nothing here and is nothing there very disappointing that being said i really like the truck on the outside it looks awesome uh, I like the engine, it's stronger than a 5.7, that's for sure, but everything else, it, it's very, very, very disappointing. I got so pissed yesterday, I was looking online and I saw a 2023 red Ram Rebel up the next town. I'm telling you, I'm gonna go and take a look at it, I'm gonna take it for a drive. If that truck make me feel nice and cozy, these GMs are gonna be dumped like a hot potato. This truck has nothing on the rim, guys. I am telling you. I am sorry if you're a GMC fan. <laughs> I'm not trying to be biased over here. I paid a lot of money for this truck. I'm just telling you how disappointing I am from the electronics in this truck and everything else. Even the modes. I only have a regular mode and I have a off-road mode. That's it that's all I have where is the sport mode where is the eco mode there is nothing this truck is so blunt everything shows that it's nice in here has nothing in it has nothing in it it's so disappointing everything is empty very disappointing thank you very much for watching your GMC truck success have a good one